everybody, welcome back. This is Tinker77, and we are again back on the Stoneblock 2 server. I am in my chicken room, as you can see here. And uh, I've done a lot of work with this. I have a couple more spots left, and I have even more chickens that I'm breeding up of different types. We just don't have the storage yet, so I'll have to create that. And I'll do that off camera sometime, or maybe during a stream. So, yeah. Now, if you haven't been paying attention, I have been doing some streams here, and uh, one of the streams we worked on uh, some AE2 and just so I can show the guys there I took all the AE2 stuff down because it was kind of a mess So yeah, it's not there at the moment, but I'm figuring out AE2 how to do auto crafting and things and so uh, I'm probably gonna do that sometime in the future Okay, so I want to say thank you to everybody for all the likes and comments that I received for the series That's going well the other series that I'm working on the Minecraft hardcore challenge and the project ozone 3 series are doing well also so Thank you, everybody. We are growing, and that is fantastic. So today, I wanted to see what I could do here, and I'm looking through all the things. Pretty much chickens are done, and I would like to do fluid cows sometime, but I think since we just did this chicken, which is kind of like resource production heavy, um, I didn't want to do the cows yet, although most of this is fluid. I thought I would do mystical agriculture, um, and that would probably be the next thing. Uh, so what we're going to probably do is, if I get up here to my little elevator block is right here is my normal uh farming zone if you will i really need to decorate this anyway up here the one floor up is the next floor and i was thinking about doing the mystical agriculture on this floor so one of the things i'm going to do is i'm going to take the i believe it's behind this wall here the power conduit and the ae2 conduit and run up there so i have a station first okay and then we'll uh figure it out let me get that run I ran the power line up to the floor above us and also put in a crafting terminal here and one up there on the red line so I kind of know what it is. Now I said I was going to wait to decorate this but I really want to start working on this. Now if you recall I'm doing the walls in this plate color and I have that here and this would take a while you know if I were to go out and break a piece even using a hammer and putting one down. That's a pain. I have the exchangers though and I'm going to basically set this. I'm going to do shift and right click. And now it says, okay, I know I'm going to use this block and I'm going to press this button and go big. And just like this, I can just press the button and boom, all those pieces are placed. Isn't that great? This is a fantastic tool. If you get this in your pack or if you see it, use it. Cause just like that, it's got everything done with it. Now you can see it bouncing up and down. And that is because I, one of the rewards I recently got was a repair talisman. So it's slowly going up on durability, which is great. So I'm going to finish up preparing and replacing all of this and I'll probably do that to the floor above and then we'll get started uh, working on with the uh, mystical agriculture. There we go. Look at that. That quick. Awesome. Looking at the quests, it looks like the prosperity shard. We've already done this right here, but we need prosperity shards looks like for other things and I don't think we have a lot of those. We have not seen that and I don't have a chicken that does it. Right, we only have eight prosperity shards. Okay, so we got to figure out where do we get those. And the easiest one for me right now is still sieving. So if I sieve sand through it, looks like an iron mesh or a diamond mesh, uh, we'll get lots of resources, but we'll also get that like a 16% chance. So what I need to do is I need to set up a one of those auto sieves. So let's get some, I should have some in here. I've got an auto hammer. I think I've got an auto sieve somewhere that I was using. Where did I put it? Oh, right here. This guy right here is filled up. I think I was doing it for Surtis Quartz, and that's okay. I'm going to grab him for now. Here we go. Okay. And I got lots of stuff out there. I'm going to hook, hook this up to the sand, and I'm going to make it pull out of there. Let's see if I can grab all this stuff here. I don't want to lose it all. Okay. So it was right here is this dust. Sand is up here. So if I were to go off the back of that right there, it would have power. See, I'm kind of like uh, just fiddling with this right now. We need some of those flattened things. Let's go get a flattened. There we go. Flattened transfer thing. Okay. And I got my mesh. That's good. Okay. So I just threw my, my AOIT. I do that a lot. Okay. If I put this on the back here, that will be the sand. And I'll put this guy right there. And now it's got power. And you can see it's getting sand. I'm going to throw in the mesh. And there we go. It now has the ability to uh, make things. Okay and get us the prosperity shards. Now I would like to stick something um, to where it can output. So I'm gonna get a crate. I've got a crate here. Ooh, I've got a loot crate. I'll have to open that in just a second. 
So I'm going to put this right here and do that. And that should then output whatever we have. So we're going to let this run for a little bit. And hopefully we'll get some more prosperity shards and see what we can do. Let me open up this loot crate. An ender orb translocator and some squid bait. Um, yeah, that's not very useful. Anyways, put all this stuff back into our storage system. And right now we're going to look at some of these quests that we can do now. I know we have the prosperity shard and a, a base ingot. Now I think we can make that with what we have. So let me look at that up. Base ingot. Okay, it takes four shards and an iron, and we have that, and that'll get us that particular quest. So there we go. It should have anyway. Yes. Get our reward. Oh, we already did that. Ha! Ah! Okay, so do we have a lot of base ingots then? No, just the one. I'm not sure how we got that quest completed when we don't have this. Anyway. Okay, so what we're going to do here, let's go down this way, because this is useful for other things. An infusion crystal. Okay, so what does that take? Infusion... This one right here is the first one. It takes four of those, four essences, and a diamond. And I know I have that. Uh, except I don't have a shard anymore. Did we get another shard yet? Let's go check. We do have some shards. Excellent. Okay, so put one in there. And we'll get an infusion crystal. That'll get that quest. The other one we have, if you look at it, was... Oops, just misspelled that. Let me go up here. The infusion crystal here, the master one, it ha takes the same thing, but it takes super supremium essence. We're nowhere close to getting that, okay? So we'll work on that in a little bit. But we got this quest. Let's go see what our reward is here. Eight, or no, I keep saying eight because it's octatic. But this is basically one octatic capacitor, which is eight capacity, basically. Eight times capacity. Okay, let me go see what we can do upstairs with planting some things and getting some of this growing. I'm upstairs and what will be the mystical agriculture room. I still haven't done the ceiling, but I've got everything set up as far as farmers and that sort of thing. Because we're going to be farming seeds and various forms of seeds. Now, looking at this, you can see there's a lot of different quests here you got to go through to get different things. And most of this is based around, if you look here, the Inferium Essence, which you can make into Prudentium, Intermedium, Superium, Supremium, and Insanium. Okay, you can see that once you get this, you can go off in three directions. And you get to here, it goes off in three to four directions. You know what I mean? It's you got to think these essences, and they grow from seeds. So that's one of the first things we're going to do here is get those seeds, okay? Now, I was also looking here, and it looks like there is the crafting seed, which you can also get from Inferium Essence. So let's see if we can get an Inferium plant. Now, I've never really worked much with Mystical Agriculture. I've played around with it a little bit, and I've, I've goofed around with it so i'm not really great with it but i'll see what i can do okay so we want to get probably some sort of, of seed here let me go into here this is my terminal it's upstairs and we have a, already a bunch of inferium and it looks like there are some inferium seeds that we can get okay i'd like to get these and if you see that is basically inferium seeds with just regular seeds around them and that is Prudentium. See, they go up higher and higher and higher. Okay, so let's just get a bunch of these. And I only had enough to make 19 of those. Okay, but the goal here then is I should be able to put them into here. And it will plant them and it will work with them. So I'm going to let this go for a little bit and see if we can get some more essence out of this. And uh, hopefully, I'm going to have to move some of these torches too. I'll do that in just a minute off camera. But hopefully we'll have enough uh, resources then to go up through the chain and get what we need. Okay, so let me... Uh, let this run for a little bit. This is going really, really slow, and I'm not getting any seeds back, which means I cannot replant. I have to wait until I get eight, which is only a fourth moment, just to get one seed and to plant this, and it still grows kind of slow. So I'm thinking this may not be the optimal way to do this. Um, I'm going to try something else while this kind of sits here and grows. I think what I'm going to try is the Garden Cloche which is a, basically a device that allows stuff to grow faster in like a single setting. Um, so we're going to go downstairs right now and see if I can do anything with that. Okay, we're going to go over here. I'm going to put it in here because it's close to power and other things. But we're going to see about this. The garden, this is the garden cloche. And it takes glass, it takes treated wood. And that's something we don't have yet is this stuff here. An iron piece, this is fairly easy I think. And we have to get a vacuum tube, which is going to take the engineer's workbench. So let's get that workbench first and see what we can do here. Workbench, there it is. And you can see it takes treated wood right away, and we don't have treated wood. 
Uh, we got to figure out how to get that, and that's part of the problem. I think we need something, a resource that we don't have yet. Uh, where is it? Is it one of these? It doesn't tell you quite how to get it, and I'd like to get it somehow. Uh, where is it? I don't know. Let me figure out how to get treated wood. I figure you would use some sort of... See, it's got them from sticks. It's immersive engineering. Something with immersive engineering does that where you can get treated wood. I'll have to figure this out. Treated wood, you get it with wood planks covered with creosote oil. And creosote oil, I believe we need a kiln. Um, so we need to make a block here, this kiln block. We need to make a bunch of this and make it. So I'm going to put a kiln back here so we have it. And let me do that really quick and see how that works. I built a coke oven from immersive engineering. And you can see here, if you put in material like that, or if you put in this, you will get some, basically you get coal coke out, and then you'll also get some creosote. Now that's what we're after, is the creosote oil to treat the wood. So I'm going to uh, do that now, just wait for this for a little bit and see what happens. Um, I'm gonna probably put, let's do a, put an output on this so we get to a barrel. I know I've got a drum. Uh, let's see, I've got a drum here. We're probably not gonna get a lot of this stuff. Uh, fluid. I don't have any fluid transfer pipes. I do have one. And let's get the other transfer things. There we go. So I'm going to put this right here. And I believe it comes right out of the side. And down, I believe. Okay, now do we have any in here? It doesn't look like, it looks like we're still uh, processing here. 7890. Okay, we got cold coke. And over here, a little bit of lag. Creosote oil. Okay, that's what we need. Then to get this, we have to treat the wood, and I need to figure out that. But once we get this created, then we can make the engineer's bench to make the garden cloche, you know, yada, yada, yada. Okay? One bucket of creosote oil was surrounded by oak planks gives you treated wood, and there we have that. Okay, so now we know how to do that. Let's go back and see if we can do the engineer's workbench. Uh, it's locking this out because of up here. The engineer's workbench is this, and we need to get three planks. We need to get a fence, which is just that. So let's see, can we do that? We're probably going to need another piece. Yeah, we're going to need a piece, I think, because this here is the fences. We're going to need another uh, piece of treated wood, and I don't think I have enough creosote yet. We'll check real quick, though. Let me grab a bucket and see if we can get any more out of this. Doesn't look like it. We're still waiting on this to keep cooking, but we're really close to getting an engineer's bench. So as soon as this gets creosote, I'll treat the wood and then I'll make the engineer's bench. Let's do this really fast here. The engineer's workbench. I now have the materials to make that and there that goes. Okay, I'm gonna put this over here for now. There it is. Now this, the garden cloche, it takes some things, but one of the things it takes is not those. Oh, this is engineer's blueprints for. I got the wrong blueprint. Um, it takes the blueprint for. Uh, let's see. It's for. I don't remember which one it was. I think it's for not arc furnace crafting components. This one here, and I need to get some more paper. So let's do that paper. Let's just get a bunch. I know I've got a bunch of that. Okay, so let's get the here and it's crafting components. That one right there. Okay, I had the wrong one, guys. Okay. Crafting components goes here. We're gonna make the vacuum tube. Now I know the recipe because I've been watching it. We need that and we need that and there we go. And we got a bunch of tubes, okay. Now with that, we should be able to make the garden cloche, which is right here. It's just glass and treated wood and I have that in the system already. So there we have one of those, okay. Now I'm gonna put this over here, I think. Put it right here. And maybe it goes the other way. I think it does. Okay. So basically, I put a sink over here. We need to get water. We need to get power. And power's up top. So let's do the power right now. I'm going to tie into this line right here. So I need some redstone flux. And then we need to get some of the material. So leadstone, not redstone. Ah, there we go. So it, you just gotta hook the pieces up and you'll be good to go, okay? So there we go. And you should see it light up there up top. It says it's getting energy, see how it's good. Now we have to get water into it and we, for that we need more f like fluid transfer. 
And I don't have any more of the fluid one. So where is it? Look up transfer. Uh, this one right here is good. We need a bucket. There it is. And there we have that. And we need a transfer pipe, which we have 50 of. Okay. So this sink will provide water all the time. So I'm going to put it here. I'm going to put a transfer pipe right there and right there. Okay. Now if you look here, you can see it's getting water. That's good. I don't have any fertilizer right now. But what I can do now is put in some dirt. Let me do that real quick. Uh, there it is. Wow. Okay, and we're going to go into here, put in some dirt, and then we just need a seed. Okay, so let's go get a seed. I've been working on, the Inferium should have been working anyway. And you can see it still hasn't filled that up because it's not getting any seeds, but we did get some Inferium. So let's get an Inferium seed. It's one of these, and let's just make one for now, and we'll bring it back down, and we'll try this out. We'll see if it grows faster. If it does, we can make more of the garden cloches and make a, a big array of these and let it work. Okay, so let's just go in here and put it right there. Okay. And you can see it looks like it's growing fairly quickly um, compared to what it was up there. Look at that. It's almost already done. Okay, it should grow and then it goes back down. So this is working faster than it did up there, and we're getting some inferior essence. So I think what I'm going to do uh, off camera here for a little bit while, I'm going to convert the room upstairs to make a bunch of these garden cloches and have the inferior growing this way, because this is a lot quicker already. I've got two. So I think that's a better way to do it, because that's just a faster rate. Okay, let me go do that. Okay, you can see I've got roughly four, maybe four and a half rows here. Nine per row, what is that, 36 or so plants. And these have been going for a while and I've got 53. I have here, uh, let's see, 19, I think, of these plants. And you can see how fast they're growing. That's excellent speed. And you can see I'm already getting lots of essence. So the garden cloches are the way to go if you get the chance. They take power, they take water, and you can see I've got the sink back here. And then I have item condoms coming out of there into here to give us the essence. So now we can let this run for a little bit and then we'll have enough essence to do the other things. Won't that be really cool? Now let's just check to see what we've got here. So we've got this essence here. It says we can make these. We can make um, tier one crafting seeds. We also can make, yeah, we probably can make the inferior ingot. Let's go check it out. We do have the, the shards downstairs. Let's go see, because I've been letting this run by itself for a while. And there we go. We got a bunch of shards. Okay, so let's go into here. And we want the next one. What was it called again? Inferium ingot. Okay. And the Inferium ingot is a base ingot and two of those. And then we got that. Just that quickly. We got another quest. Let's go get that one picked out. There it is. And... Uh, why did we get two things here? I don't know. Maybe I missed something. Uh, draconic cores. Uh, okay. Well, we got four draconic cores. That's awesome. Is there anything else we can do right now? Well, we can see about making an inferior furnace. Um, I have an ultimate furnace already, so I don't really need this furnace. But uh, we can always try to make it. And we got to make this bottom block, which is a block of inferior. Okay. And there's that. And we got that one too. So you can see we already got a lot done as far as quests or epic bacon. I got so much epic bacon, it's crazy. And uh, let's see, so now we can get this next. We can also get this. We need to get the crafting seeds. What does it make for a base crafting seed? I don't even know what that is. Let's see, oh, not base, base. Uh, there we go, <laughs> got a base crafting seed. So as you can see, mystical, uh, our um, agriculture is not that hard to do. Two diamond tier looks like some upgrades for the drums. That's awesome. And what does it take for the tier one crafting seed? Uh, tier one crafting seed. More essence. There we go. And there we got that one. Okay. And we got a forged lexicon. So you can already see we got everything that's involved with Inferium. I believe that this, 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 and this require the next one, which is Prudentium. And let's go see if we can do that really quick here. Um, let's go up and we're gonna just grab some of this essence because we got tons of it now. Look at that. 
I mean, that's pretty quick. Okay, so we're gonna stick it in here. And Prudentium Essence. This Essence right here, you can see it takes the crystal and it takes uh, four of those. And what does it take to get the Master Crystal? We need to get some Premium Essence. We're not gonna be there yet, okay? But let's make the Hiss here. Look at that, I made some stacks of it already, okay? But with that, then we should be able to make the next set of stuff. Let me put that into the storage system. Why is it lagging? That's weird. Let me go down to the main area and see if it's the drive system is um, clogged. It is getting clogged. Okay, so we're going to have to make some more storage for that. So I'll have to do that in a little bit. Um, but yeah, we have this here. So let me just start to see what I can do. Get one more piece here. Six times of phantom face. I'm not sure what that is. We'll make this stuff in a little bit. I do have to get working on getting some other stuff for the storage system. So let me do that. Well guys, I went out and looked at the files for the recordings to see how much time I've recorded and I just ran out of time. So we're going to have to stop it here. So I'm going to end up here right beside the garden closures. You can see they're going to town getting us the uh, essence. Now we're going to, I'm going to put some more of these up and get some of the other essences and try to continue this and hopefully you'll see that. I might do that during a stream. I usually stream on Thursday nights and Sunday nights with some odd days thrown in there if I have time. Um, so uh, check us out if you want. You should get notifications on YouTube and speaking of notifications. Hit that subscribe button and also hit the little bell icon. You get those notifications. So if you like this video, please click that like button. And if you have any comments, put them down in the comments section. Thanks, everybody. See you later. Bye-bye.